Good morning, Wolf Trap students and staff. My name is Mr. Campe, and this is the WTRP Morning News Show. Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss Stubbs. Thanks for joining us today, Thursday, April 8th, 2021. Please pause for the moment of silence. All right, let's stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy, happy birthday today to Leah Gagne, Benjamin Lombard, Milan Miller, Davis Nash, and Anna Schumer. Happy birthday, you guys. All right, everybody. It's one of our favorite days of the week. It's Title Talk Thursday. Let's get ready to hear from Gabriella Borowski, Mary Maeve McConville, Abigail Lombard, and Carter Stubbs. We know him. Let's get out our sticky notes and pencils, and let's get ready to write down these great titles. I was trapped. I'm Gabby, and today I am going to be recommending the book Dogman. And it's Dogman and the Grind Punishment. There is a whole bunch of series. And so this it's about the dogman who gets fired. And um, Petey, little cat, um, he is trying to help him get his job back. So, he, so he makes a little, makes a little, um, hat and then that makes it look like a cat and the mayor does not like him. And yeah, I would recommend this book for, um, for second to fourth by Hi, I'm here to recommend a book called Meg Jo Bethany. It's a really good book, and it's a modern version of Little Women. And I'll read the back for you so you can learn more about it. Meg Jo Bethany and Amy are having a really tough year. Not only is their father overseas with the military and their mother working overtime to make ends meet, but each girl is struggling with their own unique problems, whether it's school, health issues, or simply feeling lost. The March sisters all need the same thing, support from each other. By coming together and sharing lots of laughs and tears, these four young women find the courage to discover who they truly are as individuals and as a family. And I recommend this book for fourth grade and up. It's a really good book and I hope you like it. Bye. Hi, I'm Abby and I'm recommending The 52 Story Treehouse by Andy Griffins, illustrated by Terry Denton. I like this book because it's silly and, and Terry and Andy try to invade on the vegetables. They're on their property. And there's this potato prince, and he thinks their friend is a carrot princess. And you see she's right here. And I like this book because it is, um, it's super silly. And I recommend this book to First to Fourth by... Hi, my name is Carter. I recommend this book for first grade. And it's about a, a lion versus a tiger, five books in one. And it's who would win. It's about animals fighting other animals like this. Have a good day.
so many good books. Thanks for sharing those wonderful reads with us, you guys. Now, quick reminder after spring break that if you made a second video, I am holding on to these until all kids have had at least one turn. Thank you so much for being patient. Awesome. All right, guys, today is National All Is Ours Day. Observed each year on April 8th, National All Is Ours, All Is Ours Day takes us along three views of appreciation. Either celebrate both approaches to the day or pick the one that best suits you. All right, so the first approach to the day can be looked at as a time to reflect on all of the beauty of nature and all of the wonderful things in life. You know, that kind of like reminds me of what I had to do this morning. I was with Annabelle waiting for the bus and we looked at the tulips that had just grown in our yard. We just kind of appreciated the beauty. That's awesome, Mr. Campe. I love to hear that. Well, the second way to celebrate the day is by appreciating everything we have. And I feel, I mean, I feel like we have so many things, so that, that should be mm -hmm. easy. And the mm -hmm. third way is to view the day, to view the day is by sharing all that we have. So not only appreciating nice. it, but sharing all that we have with others as well. Absolutely. We hope that you find a way to show appreciation today, you guys. All right. To end our show, let's chat about the weather. The weather today will be 69 degrees and partly cloudy. Nice. You want to say thank you, Mr. Campe? Do I want to say thank you? Thank yeah, you. you want to say it? Thank you for every. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do want to say thank you. Thank you for joining us for the WTRP Morning News Show. Boys and girls, I appreciate the sharing that Ms. Stubbs just did with me. See, she had a lot of things to say and she shared her last sentence with me. Beautiful. Right. Thanks for sharing. All right, guys, here we go. Let's have a <laughs> tremendous, <laughs> thankful. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.